I'm going to call the uh, reconvene, rather, the re recess meeting. Let us all stand for the uh, prayer, invocation, and, and pledge. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Let us pray. Father, this is a day that you have made, and God, we're just thankful for it. God, just be with us this morning as we go about doing Nash County's business, and be with each one of us, Lord, as we go out today. And may we always remember to give you the praise and glory in your precious name. Amen. 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 State flag, please. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. First thing on the agenda is a budget, budget amendments, and I'm going to call on uh, Lynn Hobbs, our finance director. Good morning. Morning. Good morning. Good morning. Mr. Chairman and Commissioners, we wanted to take advantage of this opportunity of a meeting in June to get a few things done that we would not have opportunity ordinarily to do. Um, since our last meeting, we received word from the uh, Juvenile Justice Delinquency Prevention Program of some additional Office of Juvenile Justice funds. Um, in order for these to be spent by June 30th, we do need them appropriated, so we're asking you to appropriate an additional $20,000 for the Impact Plus program under the Office of Juvenile Justice. The next amendment you had, um, we budgeted an amount that was a little bit short of what we needed for the um, 2014 ambulance lease. Uh, there was no money in order to transfer within the, the lease purchase payments um, department, so we're asking you to approve an amendment that would move 313 budget dollars to the 2014 ambulance lease line item um, so that we might be able to cover that cost by June 30 this year as well. And the last amendment was one that was actually added. It was not in the agenda. Um, we received the actuarial report from the NCACC risk management cool pool regarding our workers comp um, pool. And each year we are required to record an amount called incurred but not reported and it's an accrual to be certain that we can cover any potential claims uh, in our workers' comp fund. Right now, uh, we have 173,686 accrued. According to the report, our IBNR should be $260,301. So we're asking the board if you would approve this amendment that would appropriate $86,615 in the workers' comp fund. This is not general fund, but in the workers' comp fund so that we might set aside these funds uh, according to the NCACC actuarial report. And those are the amendments I have. I'm happy to answer any questions anyone may have. Any questions? All right. Commissioner. Yeah. Any commissioners have any questions? Uh, did we do the um, legal fees at the last meeting? We did. Okay, thank you. Okay. All right. Uh, I will entertain a motion to approve these amendments. If no questions, we'll do them all in one vote. Good request. Moved by Commissioner Morgan. Second. Second by Commissioner Outlaw. All in favor of these amendments, approval of them, let it be known by saying aye. 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 <clears throat> no, say the same thing. Ayes have it by unanimous vote. Thank you. Chairman, could I ask uh, Ms. Hobbs a question? Uh, the fact that we approved our budget for next year prior to our uh, appropriating additional <coughs> funds with the school, how do we handle that to get it in the budget? I'll come to you at the July meeting and, and amend the budget at that point. Okay, so that we, won't, we don't have to do that before July? No, sir, it wouldn't be in effect if we did. Okay, okay. thank okay. you. Okay, next thing on the agenda, I'm going to recess uh, this meeting and call to order the uh, Central Nash Water and Sewer Board. Good morning, Commissioners. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, like Lynn, I want to take the opportunity today to come before you uh, before our next scheduled meeting and, and try to address the SCADA system award for our phase three uh, Central Nash project. Um, 
The, the district will ask this board approve plans and specifications for the design of a countywide supervisory control and data acquisition SCADA system and to award a construction contract to Custom Controls Unlimited. Please report that the, the district received a total of two bids for the construction of the SCADA system on May 27th, uh, 2014, uh, after previous bid failed to receive the required uh, three bids uh, that USDA requires. Uh, Custom Controls Unlimited was a low bidder in the amount of $190,927.38. Uh, the project involves construction of a, a, a central control system at our Water Operations Center, which is located at Cooper's Elementary. Uh, in addition to 11 sites that it controls water and sewer sites throughout the county. I have with me the engineering plans and specifications here, uh, which I'll ask you to also approve in a minute. Uh, the bids came in under the $247,500 that's already budgeted in our project ordinance. Uh, project grant funds are available for this entire request. Uh, there will be uh, rural center funds paying for the construction, USDA for the engineering. Uh, but in, in they will be subject to final approval from Rural Center, now Department of Commerce, and USDA. Recommended action is approve the engineering plans and specifications as submitted by the Wooten Company for the SCADA system and award a construction contract to Custom Controls Unlimited for the recommended bid amount of $190,927.38 subject to USDA Rural Development, the Rural Center, and County Attorney's final approval. <coughs> Any questions? <coughs> Yes, sir. What about the difference that we're not going to be using? Can that be used for any other project? What, we, what we've done over the last couple of years is USDA has tried to close out some of these older grants. Um, they've actually used, in this case, uh, phase three money, grant money, um, has been paid off of phase four invoices. So we've kind of shifted all the phase three money uh, that was left to phase four. Mm -hmm. We're getting ready to probably take a little bit of phase four money and shift it back to pay for the engineering for this for this project. Uh, and then rural center grant, we have 500,000 rural center grant, which will be used to pay for this construction entirely. What's left of the rural center grant, we will de-obligate back to rural center. That money we can't do anything else with. They were agreeable to funding a SCADA system and that's it. Okay. Phase three was so far under budget because of the time we, bi we bid it, um, th this is the best scenario. So the, the good thing is that the USDA funds have been shifted to phase four, which takes that phase four money and allows it to be used for other things. And, and we're doing some additional roads in phase four that effectively that money is being used for now. Um, but yeah, our goal is to maximize the phase four project uh, with the grant funds that are available. We're actually at a good point now where we've, we've exceeded the loan amount. Uh, Lynn closed on the loan for phase four on Monday. So that, that part's good, and Vince, uh, Vince had a lot to do with that also. Um, we're above amount now. We're, we're getting ready to request the full phase four grant funds and draw all that money down. So I, I think we're in a, a pretty good position grant-wise. Thank you. Yep. Any other questions? I have a question of Lynn. Lynn, if this was July 1 with that new provision in the budget ordinance, would this would still have to come before the board since it's under 200,000, or would it? Um, US, in this case, USDA is gonna want our board, board to approve it. Yeah, okay. Okay. So I would think that would that supersede, yeah, supersede That's what I was county saying. policy. Yeah. Yeah. Any other questions? If not, I call for a motion to approve the construction contract. So move, Mr. Chairman. Moved by Commissioner Davis. Second. Second by Commissioner Wells. Any further discussion? All in favor of this motion, let it be known by saying aye. 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 Noes. Same sign. Ayes have it unanimous. Thank you, board. Thank you. Uh, I will. Uh, reconvene our uh, uh, recess session. Chairman, I'll offer you a motion to close tonight. Uh, yeah, okay. For the Second. district meeting yeah. for the month of July. Uh, motion by Commissioner Davis, seconded by Commissioner Wells that we close Barnes. the uh, Central National Water and Sewer Board. You've heard the motion. I'm ready for the question. All in favor of it, let it be known by saying aye. 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 And, 
nose, the same sign. I was having. Okay. I'll call back to order the recess meeting. Next thing on our agenda is a closed session to <clears throat> let us discuss NCGS 143-318.11. I hear a motion to go into closed session. So moved. Second. Moved by Commissioner Webbs. Second. Second by Commissioner Morgan. All in favor of the motion, let it be known by saying aye. 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 Knows the same sign. I'll tell you. Thank you. We'll move into closed session. Do we expect any action for our prayers yeah. when we leave? Uh, possibly. Uh, there possibly may be some action when we come back. I, I was going to suggest that... Um, since I did read her editorial last week. <laughs> I was getting ready to go get her a cup of coffee. <laughs> later, she's trying to quit drinking coffee. That, um, that we do a 10 minute recess at the end of the closed session so we can call her over here, um, maybe, um, so that she doesn't have to, I mean, cause we could be an hour. I mean, we could be 30 minutes. We could be an hour. We could be. And we don't have it on. Coffee pot and television in here. <laughs> you got a coffee pot. Got a coffee, get pot. To. Uh, coffee pot. Oh. Mr. Chairman, the, the other young man, it, it, are you a reporter? Yeah, I'm coming in for the article. Okay, so you with the Telegraph. Okay. Yeah. Could we introduce ourselves, maybe? And since you had been, you, you, these are your seats up front, which That's you can right. see yeah. one of the machines. I know you slid down there to be able to see that one, but mm -hmm. welcome to your assigned seat up here when you visit us again. Yeah. Glad to have you. And I didn't realize he was with the telegram, yeah, so I, obviously he, he... I didn't either, sir. do I would have told you. I was just guessing, Mr. Chairman. The press sits up here, in front, and we got four seats up there for the press. You can fit anywhere you like. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's true. If, if you prefer sitting out there, it's fine. Well, I, I, but we do have those seats up there at the table well, for the press. I would withdraw my suggestion because if he went back to work, it would take more than 10 minutes. But we do have a coffee pot back here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, we'll move into a uh, closed session. to adjourn the recess session. So moved. Moved by Commissioner Wells. We need a second. Second. Second by Commissioner Barnes. All in favor of adjourning the recess session, let it be known by saying aye. 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 And the no's, same sign. Ayes have it.